Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. So guys, as you can see in front of you, we're looking at a diamond grate uh, plates or diamond plates, right? You see them on um, all sorts of industrial applications, on fire trucks, that kind of stuff. Now, I did a video on how to model something like this in the past, and it's usually uh, using a normal map, right? So in almost every case, you would use an actual normal map to do this. Otherwise, you have way too much polygons and there's no need for that, right? But what if you want to model something like an open grate on stairs? Um, something like this right here or that, right? How do you do that? And uh, obviously you can't do that with a normal map. Well, you can, but it would kind of look bad. Um, so I'm going to show you a quick way to do something like this, right? So uh, yeah, let's uh, maybe do one of these steps here. So we're in Maya. And again, this is not too complicated. And uh, it's not the point of teaching you guys complicated stuff. It's the point of teaching you guys practical stuff that you can use in your workflow, right? So let's start off with a uh, polygon plane. And we're going to control A to open up the attribute editor. Make sure we're in object mode. There you go. Let's go and set that to one by one. All right. So we can get the overall shape of what we're looking for. We're going to hit R to scale this until we have something like one step, right? Then we're going to hit uh, insert edge loop and we're going to go to uh, multiple and let's see if we do uh, 20. Maybe that's a bit much. Let's do 10. And let's see how that looks. That's not too bad. And then we'll do five. And we'll do five at this end. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, now this part of the process is pretty easy. You can drag select all of them in face mode. You can make sure you got all of them selected. You can hit control E to extrude. Keep face together, turn them off. Very important. Tweak the offset to let's say 0 0.01 which will give you something like this i think that's fine right and then you're going to hit delete okay so now you have this framework now of course we want some thickness here so we're going to go into object mode we're going to select it we're going to control e to extrude and we're going to give that thickness how thick do you want it let's say i don't know this should be fine okay now from here what you want is a frame for it because this is just one separate grid section and you want a frame for it and again you would only do something like this if you wanted some super high detail um you know elements in your shot uh, if you're going to have something like this way in the background no way you're going to model it like that because you know you can't afford the poly count but okay here we are so let's say create a frame for this guy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another polygon plane. All right. Then we're gonna jump to the top and we're gonna kind of set that to the dimensions we want. So we're gonna hit R to scale. Thickness wise, that should be okay. And then we're gonna move it out like so. And I would say that's pretty good, yep. Then we're gonna go back in here to face mode, control E to extrude are to scale there you have to be careful because when you do it that way you'll see that the sides will go quicker so it's kind of a manual process you can do it this way if you want right but that's what we have so far let's go a bit further and a bit further okay now i'm happy with that then we're gonna hit g to repeat we're gonna hit w to push down and we will be removing one of those faces. So, and we need to tweak the thickness in a bit, but we're gonna take that top face first, hit delete. So here's our box. And of course we don't need this, or not all of it anyway. So we're gonna control E text shoot again. This time we're gonna use the offset, which will keep it symmetrical. 0 0.02 maybe, 0 0.04. Yeah, I think that's better. Then we're going to go in here and we're going to delete that. All right, almost there. So now that we have that, we're going to put it in place. Object mode, hit W, push it down and see whether we have the right thickness. Because we want this to rest on that edge, right? 
So to do that, we're going to go in here and we're going to take that edge, right click, go to vertex, take that edge, and we're going to push it down a little, like so. And then we're going to go in here and we're going to, um, let's see. What we're going to do is we're going to not hit anything. What we're going to do is we're going to extrude this to get some thickness, okay? So control E to extrude, 0 0.01. That should be fine. Yeah. So that looks okay. And now what you can do if you want, uh, this will obviously uh, fit in the framework of the steps and you can repeat that over and over. But what you can do is kind of put a, um, an element in front um, to round that off, right? So take a cube, you would move it forward, you would hit R, you would uh, kind of scale it out like so. And then, of course, we're going to scale the whole thing down, move it into place somewhat, jump over here. And then we're going to go to vertex mode. Just quick and dirty, but you get the idea, right? Okay. So we're going to take the whole thing, we're going to push it down to, I would say, about there. That's fine. Then we're going to go to face mode. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. And in fact, we don't even need that. And there you go. So let's adjust the height a little bit. Let's go to edge mode. Something like so, and then we'll put a bevel on the front. And we'll increase that fraction, maybe something like this. And then you can choose to put in segments if you want. And then you would have something looking like this, right? And if you want, you can go into this edge, Control E to extrude, W to push down, and then G to repeat, and W to push in. You're not really going to see that, but hey, you know, depends on how much detail you want. And then if all said and done and you're really finicky about it, you can give it some thickness. So let's do 0 0.01. All right, you take the whole thing, you hit W, you kind of push it down so that's not touching and then push it forward. And you would have that tiny gap here, which makes it a little bit more realistic, which I think is always cool. And you can kind of level that out. You get something like that. You get the idea, right? So then if you got something like this, you can go to mesh and uh, combine, and then you can make steps out of it, right? So you can go in here, for example, let's actually do that in, let's say we can do it here as well. Okay, we're gonna control D to duplicate. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna move it forward. And then let's move that down to, I don't know, something like that, it's fine, right? So we have that twice, we're gonna shift D, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. There you go. Do I click the whole thing, move it up. And then there you go, that would be your stairs. Now, like I said, uh, from a poly count point of view, it's not the best way to do it. Um, I would only do this if I had, let's say, a shot, something like this, where it's, super close up, super detailed, and uh, you want to have the right look. But hey, that's how you do it. So not too complicated. Um, you can use this for all sorts of things. Uh, the techniques uh, can be used for endless uh, possibilities. So have fun with that. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you want me to do anything similar. And that said, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.